It's time now for a look at the latest in local news. In the news, the Wayne County Commissioners held a work session this past Thursday and Friday at the Wayne County Airport. County Administrator Ed Jeffers did a presentation with a lot of information for the commissioners discussing budgets and projects and the status of the county. A lot of good news beginning with the fact that the county tax digest is up significantly and with that both the school board and the county anticipating rolled into tax millage back which should save taxpayers money. Here was Administrator Ed Jeffers talking about the tax digest and the good news of growth for Wayne County. 22 tax digest is $845 million. That's the 45 or 40 percent fair market value of what is taxable for the county. 75 million dollars over the 21 budget. So 75, not 67. I'm looking at net. What Drew did was gross, and he did it because school board. That's a gross. School board exemptions were greater than the county exemptions. 37, 38 million of it was new property growth. Really good. Really good. If you equate that growth, that's the, that's the factor would go on to the IBA funding. If you line that to a little over $15,000, round it up to the nearest 5,000, that's 20,000. So the funding for the IDA would be $320,000 next year. Fair enough? Not a whole lot, but it helps helps him out, and he benefits. He benefits from that. Seventy six and thirty eight. The half of it was reassessments, which is equates to a point seven three four rollback rate. Okay. There's the digest and the millage rates for the last 10 years. And going over here, here's the growth over here. The blue is the growth and the red is the reassessment value. The growth is what the new value over the value of it is 807. And the, and the inflationary value, the reassessed value is 38, 846. So what does that mean? It is recommended that y'all prove a millage rate of 14.923, which is a reduction of 1.334 mils over 21 millage rate. That's significantly more, that's 0.6 more than a rollback rate. We're doing good. We're just going to have to protect ourselves here. Reduction keeps the, the revenue from property taxes nearly flat for 21 rep, rep at, at to 21 tax revenue. But given all the other factors that we just talked about, keeps the 23 budget in balance. Okay? The tax commissioner is prepared to advertise anticipated millage rate of 14.923 will be approved by y'all on September 8th. Again, as always, it has to be plus or minus. Two or three, three percent of what is advertised, or the process of starts all over. The timing of this is critical for her to meet the deadlines by state law. Uh, the taxes being due November 15th, I believe. So she has to work her stuff and make sure that happens. So. And again, those comments of County Minister Ed Jeffers. As we mentioned, a lot of information presented, a lot of good news presented, and we'll come back with another good news story from the meeting as this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. The hospital, the authority, borrowed 25 million. What happened was the county had two borrows. One of them was associated with the with a um Floss three, that was ten million dollars. The bond was not paid, the bond. And then the other fifteen was a GO bond levied against property taxes. That was like a quarter of a mil, half a mil. Anybody remember on that? Quarter. Quarter. Now she's still collecting some of that from prior years. It's very it's trickling in, it ain't a whole lot. So in 
when they paid off the, the $10 million bond with Splots 3, instead of taking that quarter mill, they took quarter mill off property taxes and stuck it on Splots 4. And that was for, how much was the bond for? Remainder of $11 million, $12 million? And that's what's left off of it. The bond is for that, it was for 10 years. And so it was done in 16, and then we'll go out. Actually, it was plus two that was the original bond. Plus three and four was for the geo bond that took it off of there. So this is the second cycle of that. Okay? That's your hospital, question? Hospital payment was a million dollars a year. What they paid. They never missed it. Yeah. And, and, and guys, that was a great investment. And I remember. I remember the naysayers, I remember the people that were just, you know, we don't, but that's a, that's a, that's a foundation of this county. It's helping out analysts, it's helping out people, it's, it brings in a ton of revenue, it's an economic engine. So, yeah, the investment was well worth it. We're going, we have a way because the economic activity turned around Pay this stuff off. When I walked in, I'm on, I ain't gonna go back too far, but walked in, and I remember telling y'all at 18, the revenue from sales tax wasn't matching the note right here, and we were gonna be in plus five paying this note. Or we were gonna have to come some, somewhere else. We didn't have anything. Now, 400, that, 440 jobs. Yes. More than that, that's direct jobs. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it's, it's tremendous. And once again, those comments at the work session, again, they look to pay the bonds off this year. Once again, the county met for two days. A lot of information presented to the council. New elected commissioners Tim Hopkins, Mike Gordon, Mike, and Jamie Hickox were all in attendance as well. After two days' session was over, Hopkins thanked the administrator for the presentation and information, saying it was well put together and provided valuable information for the council. Again, the work session these past two, two days at the Wayne County Airport. We'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor, the Commercial Messages, so please stay tuned. Final notes and news, the Wayne County Board of Education has their monthly board meeting tomorrow at 6 p.m. at the Tech Center on the agenda, a COVID update, capital outlay projects to be discussed. Also, they call board meeting on August 26th at 10 a.m. for the approval of their millage rate, and they're also looking to roll the millage back as well. Also on the agenda, Wayne County Owner Architect Agreement, Wayne County High School Student Advisory Board. They'll provide information on the Student Advisory Board at Wayne County High School. School uniforms is going to be discussed, that item on the agenda, and several board policies, executive session, all that tomorrow at 6 p.m. at the Tech Center. A reminder, the road closure at Odom Road South from today to August 26th, the road closure of through traffic on Odom Road South extending from Ivy Street to Holmesville Road will take place today through August 26th. During the closure, southbound traffic will detour onto Ivy Street, continuing onto Robertson Road, Collins Circle, Tillman Anderson Road, Holmesville Road, and returning to Odom Road South. Northbound traffic will detour onto Holmesville Road, continuing onto Tillman Anderson Road, Collins Circle, Robertson Road, Ivy Street, and returning to Odom Road South. Traffic to residences in the area impacted by the repairs and closures will be allowed to pass as quickly as possible, but should expect delays as entire portions of the road will be requiring excavation. Their proposed closure will remain in place at all times until the pipe crossings at Daniels Road and Hyman Martin Road are repaired. Road closed to truth. The through traffic signage will be in place outside of the hard closure to provide ample notice to all drivers on Odom Road South. So keep that in mind. That's taking place today up till August 26. This past Friday night, the high school football season got underway across the state in some drama at Memorial Stadium in Savannah where B.C. and Jenkins were playing. Police say they stopped the fight before it got underway, but they state the suspects fled the scene and that caused others to run as well, causing panic at the stadium. Police state no shots were fired, no one was injured, but the game was called off in the second quarter with Benedictine well in hand, 45 zip. We'll be back with sports in a few minutes. That's going to do it for the latest in local news. Bob Morgan saying have a great day.